Now that's what I call a clean tank. Let's go. I'm about to set it up. I know just how to turn it on. I won't cool down. I'm burning up, burning up, burning up. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is maintenance day on the display tank. Today is the water change where I have to siphon out the back chambers. It's been too long, so there's a ton of detritus built up back there. I have some random stuff around the tank sand bed that I wanna take out. It's just a more detailed maintenance day today. Glass is super dirty. I got random stuff just thrown over here. I've been wanting to move that chalice for a while. Over here, the torch is kind of falling over. Back there, who knows what I got piled up. All my water change stuff is ready, but in order to get to the back chambers, I do need some reinforcements for this because it's just, too much for one person to handle. So, Jason came to the rescue. By the way guys, check this out. Since I have my surface agitation on fleek right now, fleek, that's a word, right? Look, I have more evaporation, not precipitation, evaporation. Look, I never used to have all this so much, and now I do because the water is just evaporating quicker because of the rumbles. First, I gotta take care of this extremely dirty glass. I usually like to do this first because I leave the pumps on. So when I leave the pumps on, it's sucking up all this junk. Feeds the fish, they like all the algae. Like, look at, look at the inside of the tank. You can see it way better from this side. That's what I'm talking about. Now you can see all the rock work from both sides. A clean glass makes all of the difference with a tank. I'm telling you guys, clean the glass. Okay, so now that the glass is clean, it is time to siphon out the back chambers back in here. You guys can't even see, but wait till you see how much stuff gets sucked out of these back chambers. We've reached the bottom, Captain. Oh, look at the tube turning. I need more space. I always get scared sticking my hand down here. I never know what I'm going to get. Oh, yeah. Look at all that stuff. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. Oh, yeah. There we go. We get a little... Ooh, that was a chunker. I don't know what we're getting there. It's probably pineapple sponges. Look at all that. All this is in my back chambers. This is why you guys got to suck out the back chambers. Every once in a while. Just to get all this guacamunga. Ooh, that was, that's a good one. Look at all that stuff. Look at the difference here. You can't even see through that. Clear. Dirty. Clear. Dirty. Clear. I got a nice little bubble algae guard in there that I've started to uh, take off on the left side. Just gotta get it off on this right side. My approach for this is usually to uh, just get off what easily comes off without causing too much damage. Like so. Doesn't get it all, but... I got a new Kemi Pure going in. This is uh, not a blue, it's just a, a regular one. And then obviously new filter floss and uh, polishing pads going in my in-tank media basket. Hey, if you guys are new here, this is probably a good time for you to hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on. New fish videos every single week. Now that the water has changed, you guys know I have to dose a little bit of my iodine to keep my corals looking happy. I just do two milliliters and before we get any farther and start moving pieces around, I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Seven Seas Aquatics. Seven Seas Aquatics is a state-of-the-art store located in Cape Coral, Florida. Their tagline is corals from around the world. They have a ton of different pieces available, all kinds of corals. If you click shopping, you can see some of the pieces that they have listed on here already. If you aren't local, to check them out. In store, they have a bunch of lights, aquarium products, all that good stuff. So their auctions page links to their uh, Facebook, I mean their eBay page. Look at this little lounge area that they have so you could chill and watch the, uh, watch the display tank. They also have a YouTube channel if you check that out. So they have a bunch of different aquatic content on here. I will drop their store address and the website link in the description below for you guys to check out. Thank you so much to Seven Seas Aquatics for sponsoring today's episode. Now let's get back to the content. So while the tank is looking all pretty and whatnot, it's time to organize things a bit. My goal for this is to get rid of all of the piles of stuff that I have back there. I gotta straighten this torch up. Uh, 
on top of that I want to go ahead as you can see this torch was hitting this Duncan and it uh, it killed that that branch so I I'm hoping that that doesn't keep spreading. I need to get these two out of here so that I could scoot this guy over even more because that is not a good look. To do that, I gotta get rid of that chalice up there. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna put it along that back wall and see if it maybe starts growing up the wall. Look at this. We got a pink leather for sale. That one's not garbage. Look at all this stacks and stacks of trash back here. I have not put done maintenance to this tank like this in a while i've just been super busy and there's a bunch of stuff down here that just does not belong i definitely leave some shells because you got to remember i think it's what the hermit crabs that uh change shells so just keep that in mind you don't want to like clear out all of your empty shells leave a, leave a couple in there for for them to have some some fun i guess and change houses Got to get this guy back down in the sand here. There we go. Look at all this just dead stuff that was just hanging around my tank. Just making it look ugly. So these two are going to be gone. This guy will be scooted over. This mushroom has to go in. There's another mushroom over here. My one that I like a lot. All right, let's see if this chalice even moves. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? Oh, that's not good, guys. It's encrusted onto the rock. So that chalice is officially not moving without just completely destroying the whole thing, which I don't want to do. I'm experimenting here, I guess. This is the massive sprog spawn. I'm just gonna cut off the, uh, the stem. And load this puppy up. I think he will look really nice right here. Nice. And then I'm thinking the other hammer I'll probably put right here so these two will open up together. I was going to pop it off of the uh, plug and just put the stem, but because it's going like right next to slash on top of the outskirts of the chalice, I'm going to leave it on the plug just so it doesn't, uh, like I don't know the effect that that will have, so we'll cut this guy back off. Got to load it up a little bit extra. I don't know how this is going to go, guys, but it's worth a shot. We got a little purple, a little gold, a little green, a little frog spawn action over here. And then down here, we opened up space. He's got to go all the way over here so he's got room. Detailed maintenance is so important. It is really, really easy to just say, I'll do it next time, I'll do it next time. And then next thing you know, you have a bunch of stuff just piling up in your tank that you should have just taken care of little by little. I am guilty of this. As you guys can see, look at all of the stuff that I got that was piled up with today's maintenance session. To try to stay on top of it, maybe every third water change, you schedule in a deep cleaning. Definitely something that I need to do more of. The tank just looks so much cleaner. Over here, the torch has all the space to expand and not hit the Duncan or anything else. Hopefully this part on the left will start to open up soon as well, now that it's more comfortable. Over this way, our torch is looking good and look at that back area, all clean. Everything's looking good and crispy. And look at that back corner, that garden we got going. It's not the most awesome placement right now, but hopefully everything will settle in and then bushel up real nice um that one, the one in the back left the reverse hammer is the one that looks a little odd like but um who knows maybe it's just settling in and then it'll look better and look how massive that frog spawn gets huge it's cool that we got a little look from this side those green hammers also have been doing really well and they fluffed up down here we put the uh, mushrooms the fire cloves so we got a little view from this side just look at that sand bed it is Botless. Next up is going to be a humongous fragging session because we just so much growth. Like, look at this pink leather. It is just massive. I need to cut that thing like in half at least. How to do it, I have no idea. 
but there's just a lot of trim work that needs to be done. The tank is finally clean. I feel better. The tank looks better. There's no Sino in sight because my tiger conk took care of it all. I'm super happy that I have the frog spawns and the hammers up in the little corner garden. Can't wait for those to continue to grow and maybe add a couple different colors. If you guys have any color recommendations on what I should put up there, go ahead and drop a comment and let me know what I should look into. Definitely happy that I scooted the torch over so it's not touching the Duncan anymore. Hopefully the Duncan can recoup and it's not too damaged. I definitely got to keep an eye on that because if it did do too much damage, I want to make sure to stop it from spreading. I'll have to like cut it or something. Um, so I just I just gotta watch it big shout out to seven seas aquatics for sponsoring today's episode Make sure you guys check out their website I will drop a link in the description below if you guys enjoyed this video smash the thumbs up button helps the channel out Hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on so you can be notified when new videos are posted every single week We got new fish videos dropping so make sure you guys are here for it. Thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one later Let's go I'm about to set it up I know just how to